Now, we're going to get into a little bit of strange territory uh, in a moment here, and that's something called GREP. And I don't know how many of you know what the, know the acronym, G-R-E-P, GREP. It's a way of searching for things that uses patterns. So instead of saying, look for Bob and change it all to Robert, instead of doing that, you say, look for anything between quotes. Or you know, look for a digit. Pattern. So what they decided to give us was a way to have that kind of built in to a paragraph style. So for example, this is a, my large pull quote, I almost couldn't remember. And I'll show you uh, something about the way it's built. And there'll be all kinds of things in here. For example, those of you who use nested styles will be happy to learn that um, if you're familiar with nested styles, you can put character styles within a paragraph styling. Now there are line styles. So yeah, I want the first two lines to be green. I don't care how long many words that is, just give me the first two lines. That's sweet. And there are a few other little niceties here. But uh, I'm going to go to the next category here, grep style. And you can see I've built something. I must have a character style called amazing. And I told to look for the word amazing, obviously not a pattern, a literal string. Anytime it sees the word amazing, it's going to apply that character style. So if you make reference to a, a publication, another publication, name of a book or a magazine, you can automatically italicize it just because the name is there. Let me show you. So is this amazing? <laughs> I love that. Oh, come on. You, 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 you can say, whoa, or cool. It's OK. We're friends. I won't make fun of you. But let's say also that there are certain other kinds of text that you constantly have to reformat. And I'm going to make two presumptions. I'm using a rather pretty, I think, um, well, not the word amazing, but uh, uh, open type font called Garamond Premier Pro. I think it's lovely. And because it's an open type font, it has a chance to do some automatic wonderful things, like automatic fractionizing, if I tell it to. So let's say I have a very common fraction, like that one. There's no, there's no glyph for that, right? So let's say I were to build myself a grep style that looked for fractions. And the default here that they start off, just to get you into that mode of geek, is uh, this is the grep expression for any digit, uh, excuse me, one or more of them, which is kind of a nice way to start. Uh, backslash D means any digit in grep. And the plus sign means one or more of those. And what's a fraction? Well, it's, it's that slash that. So one or more digits with a slash and then one or more digits again, right? And I need to apply my fraction style, which happens not to be there. Anyone here make nested styles in, in design? And you get there, you're setting up and say, I want the first four words to be this character style. And you go in, oh, I didn't make that character style yet. Cancel, go make my character style, come back, build the nested style. Now, anytime where you can call on a style, you can also build it there. It's, it's not a big thing, but it's just a sweet thing. And by the way, I do not work for Adobe, okay? <laughs> but I'm really enamored of some things. So here I can build my character style, I'll call it fractionize. And uh, that's an open type feature, which I will enable. That's all. I'm not calling for font or anything else, just fractionizing. Cool. Let me turn on my preview. Boom. Done. Let me backspace. It's not a fraction yet. Put one little extra number in there, and now it is. That's way cool. Yeah, you can. Yeah. You were wondering. It's very, very cool. <laughs> You might have wondered. Yeah. So is there grep code in there? Um, yes. In fact, uh, uh, just to give you a quick note here, um, right over here on the right, access to all those special characters that some people know how to type and some people don't. Special notation, and some of them have special meaning in grep too. Like curly braces and parentheses even have special meaning in grep. So if you want to call for it, like I need a parenthesis, open parenthesis. <laughs> well, that's the special notation. You have to put a backslash in front of it. And so it can help you build these queries. So like wildcards, any digit. 
there's the backslash D. So if you don't know what any digit is, you can build your query one thing at a time. One or more times, the plus sign. So you can build it. And plus, there are some tutorials online and just enough examples in the help to help you build the query you want. I'm no grep guy, but I was able to figure out a few things. And So grep has been a friend to me, although it's been a little bit of a learning curve. I'll show you a couple more things. 